Hi, it's Daniel from the Soil Ecology Laboratory and today uh, we'll be unboxing a OMAX trinocular compound microscope. Uh, we're not affiliated with OMAX or AMSCOPE who supplied it, but purchased it outright. Here in the lab we own several of them and we find them appropriate for soil food web analysis and training. They are easy to use and relatively inexpensive. Here in the UK, they are available for around £520 plus VAT, including the 10 megapixel USB camera. What I personally like about them is that they seem to be heavily inspired by an old Olympus CH4. The original is long out of production, but the manufacturer did a good job of reproducing it. Let's get started. The microscope comes in a plain cardboard box nested in a typical styrofoam shell. Before we open that, there is a small compartment hiding the camera. You may also find an adapter for use with European style sockets. The UK cable is included as standard. The shell is conveniently labeled with direction arrows. You can use a knife to slice through the tape, but be careful how deep you run it. Once open, all elements are clearly laid out with one or two getting loose in transport, but not damaged. All in all, the packaging does a very good job getting it from the manufacturer. Everything inside the shell is well protected and clean. There are caps on most parts which need protection from dust, and some smaller items are in Ziploc bags or individual tubes, like the objectives. This means that the optics are relatively clean from the factory, and the microscope can be used out of the box. If you wanted to go above and beyond, you could send it off for cleaning, but we have not found it necessary and the extra cost isn't warranted. There are elements in this kit which we don't use in the day-to-day -day work, so to help you get ready faster, the ones that do get used are laid out here. This also includes not mounting the 100 times objective, which is not necessary and creates a risk of damaging the samples, so we'll set it aside. You will find a dust cover packed with the main body of the microscope. There is also a silica gel bag and a couple of pieces of paper to remove. We start the assembly by loosening a screw on the right of the nose piece. It locks the head in place. In use, you can gently loosen it to swivel the head over to show someone else what you're looking at. Next come the oculars. We use the 10X as opposed to the 25X also included in the kit. They simply slot in after taking the dust caps off. Limiting the time with the internal optics exposed to dust is critical. The nose piece rotates freely and gently locks in every location with a satisfying click. It does not matter which slot we start with. First, the 4x objective goes in. The threads have a tight pitch, so take your time to align them in order to avoid damage and frustration. You don't need excessive force when tightening. Finger tight is enough for them to sit accurately and securely. We do the same with the 10x and 4dx objectives. Again, we skip the 100 times objective. After that, we install the camera tube, which screws in from the top. Lastly, it's time for the camera itself. It comes in two parts, the camera body and the C-mount. They screw together and slot into the tube just like the oculars. Connect the USB cable to the camera, plug in the power lead and press the light switch on the side. Keep these spares safe if you ever choose to use them. You now have a fully working microscope. I hope you found this video useful. Leave a like or a comment if you did. If you'd like to know more about our work with the Soil Food Web, go to our website, soilecologylab.co.uk. Thank you.